Good evening, welcome to the BBC. We are here with Representative Todd Aikens, personal physician, doctor. Yep, doctor. All right, uh, well, doctor, we just have a few questions that were sent in. I so, love it. Great, uh, great. So the first one is, um, what do you consider a proper diet? Ah, uh, good question. Uh, Weight Watchers, Jenny Craig. Um, whichever one that, uh, that Jennifer Hudson was on, she looks fantastic. She can wear white now. That's a good diet. Right, I guess, uh, I, I, I guess I should have been more specific. Mm -hmm. uh, really, I was thinking about a diet, uh, as in, you know, what one should eat every day to stay healthy because, as you know, uh, across America and really worldwide, there's kind of an obesity epidemic happening, uh, and people feel that fast food is to blame. So they think if fast food were eliminated, then so would the obesity epidemic would go away as well. Now I I take I take uh, I take uh, I I don't like that I don't like that uh, I don't think we should be blaming fast food. It's actually proven. It's a it's a proven thing. Not even just a theory. It's actually proven that uh, f the faster food is prepared and eaten, the faster the weight is lost. And you can look that up from what we know of medicine that is a real that's a reality and uh and i don't think we should be punishing fast food i think we should be punishing the weight that was gained uh so moving on this next question just uh, says uh how do you reckon what are your thoughts on code prevention gloves layers I uh, hear that layers are very good from what we know of cold and layering. Layers are good because then uh, if you're getting too hot in the cold, you can take a layer off and then you can get cold. All right, I guess again, I should have been more specific mm -hmm. uh, because really what was meant was, you know, what about the co-virus? Oh, that's cured. No, it's eluded scientists for years. There's no cure for the COVID virus. No, no, no. That teacher made something. Uh, you plop it in your water and it fizzes. I actually, little confession, uh, I actually uh, like to plop it in my water even when I don't have a cold and I'll just hold it up to my nose so that the fizzies can dance around my nose. All right, you're talking about airborne, which isn't really a cure. It's just more of a preventative Fun, Caution. Um, right. Uh, okay. Well, I think, you know, I think that uh, colds happen to people that need it. You know, uh, very typically very poor people who are working too hard maybe need a little bit of a break and it helps them because they get a day off from work or so. And, uh, and, you know, a lot of them are sleeping five or six to a bed. And then this way, if one of them gets a cold, they get to stay in a hotel for the night and they get a bed to themselves and they need that. So it, it, it's helpful for every, everyone. Well, moving on, what are your thoughts on uh, alcohol consumption? I'd love some, thank you. Yeah, I guess, I mean, how much is just too much? You're too much. Okay. Okay. Moving on. What are your thoughts on uh, plastic surgery? Oh, I think we should be doing surgery on humans. I don't think we need to bother with plastics right now. I think humans need help right now. You know, in plastics, those will always, those will just stay broken and fine, and that's fine. But if we are gonna do, if we're if we're gonna surgery anyone, it should be. Humans first, I think. That's my policy. As a doctor and a medical guy. Okay, okay. Uh, well, this next sh should be easy. Uh, it's quite common disease. Strep throat. How would you recommend treating it? Where is that one located? Strep throat. I mean, mm -hmm. it's traditionally in the throat. In the strep? In the th no. Um, it's in the throat. In the throat? Throat. In the throat, okay. yeah, the inflammation of the tonsils, sure. sort of thing, broke. very sore throat, hard to swallow. Yeah, you know. like you're gonna, like you're holding back it, like you're watching Armageddon and you're holding something back. I 
Yeah. Right, so would you recommend treating it with, uh, you know, traditional methods like antibiotics, or would you go holistic? Oh, well, uh, uh, let me stop you right there when you say the word holistic, because actually, and from what we know of medicine and books and books that we've read and that we haven't read, uh, holistic actually comes from the Latin holabaloo, and it means a bunch of, pardon my French, but a bunch of just nonsense. So you can just cut that out right there. Okay, uh, well this next question says, uh, use of Viagra is on the rise. Oh, that's, yeah. that's quite cheeky. Oh, that's, yeah. That's quite cheeky. That's uh, cute. Yeah. Viagra use is on the rise. What, what are your opinions about uh, prescribing Viagra? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. So you're for it, yeah. you're saying, you're for prescribing Viagra. Right. Sure. Uh, what, uh, this next question, very serious, mm -hmm. uh, it just asks, you know, doctor, how would you treat a patient with clinical depression? Just don't believe in it. Just don't believe in it. You know, if you, if you smile, the world laughs with you. And if you're sad, you die alone. Don't, don't worry about it, cause be, don't worry, no one likes a sad person. Don't worry, no one likes ya. Like the song. No. Do, ba do. That's not. Ba do, ba do. Don't worry, no one likes you if you're sad. Okay. Uh, well, that, that's all the questions that we've got uh, from our viewers, so thank you so much. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Representative uh, Todd against personal physician, Dr. Doctor, yeah. Doctor. Uh, well, thank you, and uh, from the BBC, I'm Margaret Downing, and uh, America, Godspeed. Yeah. Thank you. It's just well, the interview is over now. Thank you. If someone else wanted to start, thank you. Rolling tape. That would be. This was fun. Grand. Yes, it was grand. Very grand. Wonderful. What are you doing after this? Uh, I'm. I'm probably just going back to my flat. Yeah, that's what you guys call houses. Yes, it's an apartment. It's cute. Flat. It's cute. Yeah. My wife is staying at her mother's flat. So, if you... While you're out of town? She just, she just said indefinitely. Oh, well, that's sad. That's terribly sad. Doesn't have to be.